everyone and welcome to another episode of Career Australia Season 2 where we talk to industry experts and professionals because here we are on a mission to decode and understand the current happenings in the market with regards to opportunities for students and job seekers alike. On today's episode, we have our very own Mr. Vijay Kunamburthe, Founder and Managing Director of the HCI Group. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Thanks for the time. <laughs> Lovely to see you again after the break. Yeah. Uh, I hope you had a good break. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Thank you yeah. so much again for giving us your time, sir. But again, many congratulations on introducing something so, so new. Social work at yes. IHM. But tell me, IHM, IHM, the whole of HCI group has been doing wonders in the field of health sciences and healthcare. But now social work. Why social work? Yeah. Social work is actually part of health science only. So our college, IHM and IHNA, we aiming to be able to offer uh, skill courses as well as uh, professional degrees. So that's our main purpose. And we we are now introducing Bachelor of Social Work program in Institute of Health and Management, IHM. This is actually a pathway from Diploma of Community Services Diploma of Counselling and Diploma of Mental Health, which we offer in IHNA in the Institute of Health and Nursing Australia. So students studying or any of this diploma program, they can uh, continue or articulate into a degree, which is Bachelor of Social Work. And our commitment is basically we we have very much we focused on nursing for the last 15 years. Yeah. So we decided to expand other areas of uh, health science. Right. And uh, for other three areas we have selected is one is social work then is dentistry and the third is uh, medicine. So these three area we're working and at the moment and the first course we come out with social work is uh, bachelor of social work which is definitely aligned with our diploma courses but these diplomas are offered by many TAFE and other RTOs in Australia so they all can get one year credit while they're moving into bachelor of social work. Interesting. Yeah. Very very interesting that's bachelor of social work but Tell me, sir, I was reading something online and I came across this really fascinating statistic that says the number of people working as social workers is expected to grow over the next five years uh, from 32,900 in 2018 to 35,500. I mean, if you see, it won't be a large number, but it's definitely fascinating considering the field is social work and so many people want to do such good work for the society but they are always thinking how can I make a living out of it and in many countries it's practically not possible but in a country like Australia and an institution like IHM it is possible so tell me what is the takeaway that one has from Bachelor of Social Work what's the basic structure look like? I think Australia is uh, one of the best countries in the world in terms of offering social systems. So the services in Australia is huge. The government is committed and we have this NDIS uh, scheme which are already offering a lot of uh, support services. And social workers are always in demand. For the last 15-20 years I am in Australia and I could see that it's never been removed from the skills yes. list which is basically opportunity for international people to get students to get VR uh, options. So that's the area where this course is always there before COVID also. So with the COVID, I think the the, the challenges are in, increased globally, not only in Australia. So the demand for social workers is not only in Australia, it is globally, everywhere in the world. I think uh, people from uh, people studying in India, they are actually going to many other countries to work and there's opportunity. And they can get a registration process, which is not very difficult with the English score and required uh, assessment process, they will be able to get in. Great. But our course in Australia, which will be definitely providing opportunities globally for the students. Yeah. So we are aligning uh, our course with uh, more international uh, placement options and also probably internship. So our students should be able to get more global exposure. and. Currently, I think the, all the prediction is that uh, these jobs will be continue to be increasing, the demand is going to be increasing. And with the social media impact and other area, it's again got, uh, 
I mean, the society have a challenge in front of the whole thing. So basically, I think the the social workers' uh, needs definitely going to grow as continuously. Yeah. Uh, very interesting because uh, it's also very interesting considering the fact that the average pay for a social worker uh, as a starter is eighty thousand dollars per year, which is so much higher than what we all earn, um, and being a country that has so many other options to make money social work stands as one of the exceptions because of the high mm. pay rate or pay scale rather tell me what is it that goes behind uh, wanting to have a degree of bachelor in social work what is the fee structure at IHM? okay the the fee structure is uh, basically we have put uh, very comparable prices to any other university. As always. And uh, it's seven twelve thousand dollars per semester okay. at this point of time. Yeah. And uh, we are also looking into uh, possibilities for offering scholarships as well. Definitely. So the students who are in a financial support need or, or they are in a academic excellence, various aspects. Yeah. So we're introducing this scholarship scheme, which benefits students to able to access the program depends on them depends on it. and also there is a lot of uh, rpl option yeah so the students studied some of the units of uh, this course from overseas or australia from they will be able to get a cost deduction based on rpl nice. so we will be able to consider various opportunities for students so if somebody studied a social work blog in, in overseas and got a registration in overseas, they should be able to get up to 50% credit for Ooh. the course. That means they can even finish the course in two years. Okay. So, and uh, they will be getting all the benefit of Australian degree and uh, they should be able to pursue further opportunities. Oh, that's here. fascinating and, because. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but tell me, so that was my next question and you've already got into it. What is like the background that one needs uh, to get into? Bachelor of Social Work. Do they need something in arts or commerce or science? What is the background? No, the Bachelor of Social Work course actually can be for anybody. Okay. It's a uh, entry level qualification. Okay. So there is no specific requirement. It's only year 12 qualification is required, past year 12, and with the IELTS course of mm -hmm. uh, 6.5, they should be able to get into the course. We will provide all the support and assistance. The, the main Important thing is that you know many people in that age when they're going into entry level qualifications and degree may even be not very clear about exactly what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. So if they start with arts degrees or health science degrees or many other things, they wish to move into social work course in the later stage. I think that's the opportunity with the credit they can get a lot of area they could get credit. So I, as I mentioned, if they have diplomas and uh, so community services, they get one year credit. If they have got a nursing qualification, they get credit, diploma of nursing or other degree. Health science, bachelor's or other qualification, also people normally sometimes come to social work later. So if they if they work around their passion, whatever the course they want to do, somebody want to do uh, maybe digital media like yeah. yourself, yeah. who want to just study because that is your passion. Yeah. But if you if you prepare yourself, and you got to stay back time of two years or anything. Yeah. You could probably continue and finish this uh, bachelor social work while you use online plus uh, practical components. Definitely. That may offer another qualification, which may also meet some of your other ambitions. Correct. So if you want to be in Australia, you want to get a PR, of course, that may not be sufficient with certain qualifications. Definitely. So some people like an IT, they have a professional year, they have to do one more year in yes. professional year. Yes. And if they have some commitment, I think they have another two years. If they want to do two years, yes. they could be a social worker plus an IT, IT okay. graduate, whereby they have multiple skills. So having a uh, professional degree in various disciplines will help them to succeed in life. Yeah. Because today's world, I think one skill is not sufficient for anybody yeah. in any career, any pro area, but having multiple skills in various areas like if some social work who is smart in IT yeah. I believe their opportunity will be much more than a person without having IT skill definitely because they have to work independently they have to be in the field so there is a lot of reporting they have a lot of documentation and right. if they use technology they could do advance their work more easily right and uh, I think anybody study multiple 
professional degrees yeah. will be benefited. Okay. So, I am expecting some of the students who finish some other degrees, yeah. instead of they withdrawing from the course to go into it, they yeah. could finish what they are interested in. Yeah. Same time, they could do one more degree and they could choose jobs in whatever field they like to continue. Totally. Totally. Now, what you said, I can directly um, connect it with a podcast I was listening of Gary Shetty, and he says that 60% of uh, people in the US have two jobs. 60%, which is quite a lot uh, with regards to the population, the number of people living in the US. And I'm sure it's the same with many countries and uh, with a country like Australia as well. Everyone yeah. needs those skills in order to pursue their passion and to see what they can do with settlement in Australia. Right? That's correct. And social work is the one that they need to pick it up. Yes. I think the Australian social work, once you, our qualification is uh, registration, leading the registration yep. with the Australian Association of Social Work or ASW. Okay. So that will definitely give them opportunities to work many other countries as well. Yeah. So if you consider social work as a passport for moving around, right. you know, maybe you want to settle in Australia, but you want to have some exposure in UK, Definitely. you could get mutual recognition to go to UK and then you could work there for a year gain wow. that global experience yeah and if you if you also uh, thinking to migrate to other countries like yeah. example like parity with uh, australia canada, canada. usa yeah. so you may be able to move out to other countries as well with australian qualification because australian uh, social work workers are actually you know going a, through a one one thousand hours of practical placement field work okay so that's one of the demand requirement for the ASW registration of the qualification. 1,000 hours of so placement, work. work placement. Work placement. They have to do. Okay. So it's, I think, one of the highest uh, in wow. the in the qualification. So this is actually they're meeting global or beyond requirements. Okay. So that means I, I'm expecting that the job and uh, the Australian qualification will give them global uh, mobi mobility. Yeah. Mobility. So they can be in Australia. They can go beyond Australia. That's what is the benefit. Very fascinating, Bachelor yes. of Social Work. Yes. Uh, what about if they want to study further uh, after Bachelor of Social Work? Now they, yes. they're already placed, they already have like really good package in their hands. They're already doing work for the betterment of the society. Mm. Is there something else after that? Definitely. I think the Bachelor of Social Work, they could continue into one of the direct articulation is Master of Social Work. Okay and which has been offered by many universities in Australia at this point of time. Yeah. But IHM doesn't have that qualification in scope, but we are currently working towards it. Definitely. I'm hoping by next year this time, probably we have the qualification in scope, provided yeah. TEXA, provided us approval. Yeah. But our team of social workers, our, our, our under the leadership of our uh, director for the school, which yeah. is uh, by the School of Social Work, we definitely is have working on the project to go with the accreditation process now. Yeah. But students have opportunity to study with many other universities globally. On top of that, they don't have to study masters to master of social work. They could move on to master of public health or master of a different area. They maybe want to do a uh, business degree or yeah. you know, MBA. And they could be running some business. They may want to be an independent practitioner. Yeah. So they want to really be, you know, going into skills. business level uh, skills because if i want to operate a uh, clinic uh, then i want to be having multiple talent Definitely. so i go for mba Definitely. so what i'm saying is like uh, this course the articulation or further study is much broader yeah. but it's all depend on individuals uh, planning plan in life what they actually plan to achieve in the next five years or ten years they can plan accordingly perfect perfect and like every other international student who wants to migrate to Australia, who wants to settle here, can you help me with the ways that one can attain a PR with Bachelor of Social Work? I think the my knowledge about PR is very limited okay. because I have seen some of the career, career social interviews by yeah. experts. <laughs> I was listening to it. I think they have a lot more to advise, but I can't advise on PR requirements or yeah. because it's always changing. Yeah. It's very dynamic, you know. So, okay. so always must discuss with a migration agent to get advice on it. Yeah, yeah. But basically, just a just your view, my view or my yeah. understanding so far in 
social work is always in demand for last 18 years as I am here. Yeah. So there is, uh, because I always look at nursing and other professions in health science and yeah. social work was always there. Yeah. So I'm expecting that that will continue to be there because of the demand for social work is also increasing. But Australian migration system is based on point system. So individually people need to address, assess their own situation yeah. with what they want to achieve, what their qualification, their English skills and other things. That's basically some of the area which I could say is like, you know, some of the units out of this could be studied as a short course. And then while they're working in the industry, mm -hmm. that also add value. Okay. If they're working in the community services area, they might be able to get that value. So to work in community services, being a student of social work or maybe a diploma holder or certificate for disability, such area, right. they might be able to benefit from all this process. Okay. Because they are in the right industry, right experience, Correct. which is aligned to the job role. Job role. Yeah, so right. I think it need consultation for individual case by case basis. Definitely. But broadly, it definitely supports. Supports, yeah. supports. Definitely is a pathway uh, where you can get your PR with Bachelor of Social Work at IHM. Uh, but sir, tell me, it's very fascinating for me to look into the statistics when people say uh, that out of the 15 occupations that are in demand in the country, social work is one of them. So do you really think that it's easier for someone to get a job with a decent package in comparison to taking up something else in digital media or IT, which is which is so difficult. Like I have so many friends who have done all of these courses and it's very, very difficult for them to get a job in their fields due to which they move into something else altogether. Just for their living because they need to pay their taxes, they need to pay their not I mean loans and so many other expenses as an international student. So what is the scope for getting a job after Bachelor of Social Work at IHM? I think IHM is introducing this course. Yeah. This is the first year. We're just starting our batch July. This this month is our first co first cohort started. Mm -hmm. So it's a four year course, and I think our graduates are not going into okay. work area. Yeah. But if, if I based when we come, develop a course, we always study about the opportunity for the under outcome Definitely. because our mission is education for employment. So anything we do, we want to make sure that it leads to jobs. So HCA or IHN and IHM stands for this mission. So every course we do, we always do beyond the course. We also make sure that they have choice of support for placement and other assistance. Yeah. So I, I think at the moment in our research, there is no difficulty for finding a job in social work. Immediate job opportunities are currently available. And as I mentioned, it is not only in Australia, it's global demand is there. Yeah. So there's a so all the means they could find jobs. Yeah. And most of the students while they uh, studying, they are also yeah. working in the same field in community services. Right. So it's also yeah. add value for them to, you know, get higher positions if they are already wow. working in the industry. Nice. Yeah. I think it's just like you can uh, apply this um, mechanism of flywheel to this course because. Social work is so broad that from one branch you can jump to the next while this is already working to the next to the next and yes. so much right like child care, family, domestic violence, a lot of other things kind of, right? Yeah. Betterment of the society, environment. Very very interesting yeah. to be honest. I mean, social workers are the advocates for people and uh, so I think it's a very very uh, respectable job as well. So you could support many people in ch challenging times. Definitely. So social workers are actually intervening at times of difficulties. Yeah. So I, I think it's a very fulfilling job as well. Yeah. So like many other careers like nursing yes. and uh, teaching and other areas. This is again is a, but it's very challenging job. Yeah. It is not an easy job because you dealing with the people when they are in difficulties. Definitely. So your involvement will make a difference to their life. Totally. But when you get into dealing with difficult uh, people or yeah. situations of course it will add some stress on to you okay. so everybody come in touch with that so but there's so much growth also yeah i think the there is time. definitely growth opportunities are there there is uh, uh, transferable skills they can develop through this whole process they can go into one area of social work to other area so they can always uh, expanding their understanding and knowledge and scope 
and continue learning. Yeah. So all this is uh, very interesting. You know, all on top of as I mentioned, it's a very fulfilling job. So when you support somebody, you will be very happy about their life change and the things totally. you are able to offer in your life. Totally. So it's a very rewarding job rewarding to me. Job. Not only in terms of uh, salary, yeah. it's beyond salary. Yeah, the yes. personal satisfaction That's and the personal growth that comes out of helping another person. That's correct. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, also, sir, tell me what is that you are planning uh, as perks for students doing uh, the course already uh, with regards to social work at IHM? Yeah, we, are, we are looking into see how we can support them yeah. in terms of finding part-time job while they're studying. Yeah. And uh, we are also looking into the opportunity for them to aligning with their career goals. Yeah. So that the job should be in a right space okay. so that it will benefit them in the future. Okay. So building a career, that's what you know, Health Careers International, that's the short form of H, H, full form of HCI. Health so we need to we need to identify every student, we need to identify their career goals mm -hmm. and we need to build their career. Right. So that's the whole mission we're working on. So we will look into individual and see what they want to do and we can support them. Yeah. And we also have a broad uh, course course scope now. Yeah. So we have uh, every course comes with 15 to 20 units. Each yeah. unit is a course itself. Correct. So we are trying to make a individualized offering to people yeah. whereby that may benefit them. So example like they they're studying a bachelor of social work and if they study uh, something, some of the management units that will help them right. while they are going out to industry so they could better, you know, like teamwork skills so yeah. a lot of soft skills are on top of it yeah. and soft skills also could be structured learning Definitely. so because we are a vocational education provider we have all those skills development programs in our scope totally. so we could add on that to our bachelor students or master students yeah. whereby when they go out to the industry they are much more prepared yeah. to work in the industry. Yes. So that is the added advantage as a college we yeah. could offer to the students. I think soft and transferable for that matter. That's correct. Beautiful, beautiful. Also, sir, I'm very interested about knowing how many units are included in Bachelor of Social Work at IHM. Okay, this course is basically we do four units per semester. Okay. And uh, we have total eight semesters. Out yeah. of that, two semesters are practical placement full field placement. Okay. Third year, they have one semester, second semester is full placement. Okay. Fourth year, second semester is full placement. Full placement. So they left with six, uh, six theory semesters. Units. So 24 units are there. Yeah. And plus two field placements, so around 26 units total. Okay. For which does IHM help in getting a field placement? Yes, yes. We will work with the industry yeah. in order to provide our students field placements. We will we'll assist. Very nice, very nice. I think it's a foolproof final uh, course structure that you have mentioned at IHM. Yeah. Uh, it's Bachelor of Social Work. There is so much takeaway. There's personal growth. There's the flywheel aspect included in this course. You can jump from one branch to the next, to the next, to the next and keep growing. There is pathway to PR from this course. Uh, but definitely depends on individual cases. But I'm sure it's always and it has always been on the skills assessment list. Yeah. That's social work. And I think to people who want to make a living with really, really good rewards and packages, Bachelor of Social Work at IHM is the one. And without further ado and thoughts, go check out the website. Can you repeat the same for us, sir? www. Yeah ihm.edu.au www.ihm.edu.au Whatever doubts or difficulties you might have, this institution is there to help you out. If you have the dream, if you have the passion, if you have the caliber and the interest, here we are with IHM director who is here to directly support you one on one. He's so sweet. I know him and that's the reason I am mentioning this, reiterating the fact that he is here to help you out and the entire institution is there to help you out. So thank you so much again. Thank and you. we'll be here with another episode talking more about the opportunities for social workers and people wanting to 
uh, help in the betterment of the society so mm. what do you have to tell to our audience out there no, i mean uh, this is as, as we as i mentioned in the beginning this is a new program for ihm and it's, our college is always committed to the students and uh, we will make sure that our graduates are fully supported throughout the journey and their career outcome thank you wonderful i am meeting you very soon sir but thanks again for your time reiterating the fact that i really really appreciate it it's so valuable uh, so that was ihm's bachelor of social work exclusive episode on career australia for all of you i am meeting you very very soon until then take care and this is apna signing off adios amigos